fully free. Today, the Jackson County prosecutor announced she will not seek a new trial against Ricky Kidd, a man who spent 23 years in prison on a wrongful conviction. Kidd walked out of prison one month ago. But as 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez shows us, today's announcement was just as free. I'll be taking it in as the, as the day continues to unfold and as I go into the weekend. Um, For the first time, Ricky Kidd can now experience it's official. true freedom. It's official. On Friday, Jackson County Prosecutor Jean Peters Baker announced she would not seek a new trial against Kidd, who spent 23 years in prison for a double murder he didn't commit. I give her credit for waking up today and deciding to do the right thing without dragging us along, without wasting taxpayers' dollars. Mr. Kidd, how are you doing, sir? Great, great, thank you. Last month, a Missouri judge declared Kidd's innocence was clear and convincing. He ordered Kidd be released or retried within 30 days. During that time, Peters Baker reviewed the case and determined a jury wouldn't convict Kidd based on current evidence. Certainly, it will not be the thing that brings justice for the victims, but it is at least one step in helping bring about a new life. Kidd is now working for the Midwest Innocence Projects who fought to free him. So, uh, delete. His new job title, Community Engagement Officer, where he'll raise awareness and funds. A birth certificate was $15, a driver's license was $20, and where are they going to get that money from? And if the organization itself in the Midwest Innocence Project don't have it, where can we go get that money from? Ricky has really chosen that this is going to be his life's work. Uh, and we're really excited to work together with him on that. The prosecutor's decision is a late gift for the now 45 year old man. And Tuesday was actually my birthday. And I said that I wasn't going to stop celebrating in small ways until this Friday, not knowing, not even connecting the two. But now here it is Friday and uh, it's, it was supposed to stop today, but I might just go the weekend now. And, and Monday, my birthday will officially be over. <laughs> a moment of joy for Kid following decades of uncertainty. In Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. Kid was wrongfully convicted in a 1996 double murder. As for the case, the prosecutor's office says one suspect is in jail, one passed away, and the other is still in our area. We've been following Kid's case for years now. You can see his fight and the first moments after his release all on our website, KSHB.com.